Hey there everyone, thank you so much for being here, thank you so much for watching, I really do appreciate everyone being here. In this video there will be no intro, I want to keep it as short as possible. You will see that if you follow along this video the topic itself is not really all that complex to set up, but there are a few things that we need to talk about before we get started. We have a few things to talk about. The first, the first thing is I am under the assumption in this video that you already have a Home Assistant instance up and running and that you already have a domain in Cloudflare up and running. These are out, outside of the scope of this video and if you want to see a video about them, drop me a comment below. But if you're now just in the process of purchasing a domain to manage through Cloudflare, if you'll open up the official Home Assistant documentation, you will see that there are several suffixes that do not play well with Home Assistant. You'll just need to be aware of them. So purchase a domain with a different suffix. Another point, a dynamic DNS is just a fancy way to automate updating a public DNS hostname with an IP address. In this case, it's the IP address your ISP gives you. This is probably done when people, are, uh, when people want to access internal resources on their network from the outside. Now, this is usually done with port forwarding. And I have to tell you, this, this is just my two cents here. Avoid doing port forwarding as much as you can. Port forwarding is a bad idea. It's insecure. If you want to gain access to internal resources on your network from the outside, there are better, more secure ways of doing, it, of doing that. For example, Cloudflare tunnels, VPNs, zero tier, tail scale, you name it. Avoid doing port forwarding if you can. Another point, if your ISP, some ISPs do that, if your ISP gives you an IP address that's double netted, this will not work. If you are, maybe give them a call. All right, so now we can get started on working and the first stop will be to go into Cloudflare. I'm already logged into my Cloudflare account and the first thing that we need to do is to go inside the domain you are managing in Cloudflare and scroll down just a little bit until you get to the API section and click on get your, I, your API token. Sorry, get your API token. From here, you need to cl click on create token. In this case, we'll select the edit zone DNS template. Let's click on use template. If you're managing several domains in Cloudflare, it will be a good idea to restrict this API token only to the domain we are working in. So include specific zone and select the zone you're managing. In, the, in my example, it's a completely demo zone, but again, it's up to you. And if you're managing several zones, if you're not excluding other zones, this API key will, will be able to edit all of them and click on continue to summary, create token, and this is the token. Now, this token should not be shared with anyone. This will be the equivalent of giving someone your username and password to your Cloudflare account. Copy it, paste it somewhere safe, and do not share it with anyone. Once, that, once that's done, we can go back to our profile, back to our domain, and go to the DNS section. Here, we will just create a new regular DNS A record. Keep in mind that this uh, DNS A record should not, I repeat, should not be proxied, simply be because it will need to be updated with your IP address and not a Cloudflare IP address. So let's just call it DDNS. And for now, I am going to place a, a completely bogus IP address like 22.22.22.22, simply because I want, after I complete all my configurations, I would like to wait a while and then log back to my Cloudflare account 
and see that instead of this bogus IP address, I see my real IP address. This will tell me that everything is indeed working. So go ahead and click on save. And at this point, we are done with the Cloudflare side of things. Now keep in mind, once you've created a DNSA record, it takes several minutes to even 24 hours for this A record to actually be publicly resolvable. It's global DNS stuff. It's, it's a good idea to wait a while before jumping to the second part of this configuration, which is in Home Assistant. For the sake of this video, I'm going to jump right in and do it. So log in to your Home Assistant, go into Settings, and go into Devices and Services. Click on Add Integration and search for Cloudflare. At this point, you will be asked for your API token, the one that we have created just a few minutes ago. So copy it from your notepad or where, wherever you saved it and paste it right here. At this point, Home Assistant will use this API token to actually log in to your Cloudflare account and retrieve all the, uh, all the DNS A records that are available to be updated. All right, click on Submit. And this is the zone that's indeed the zone that we've configured our DNS A record in. And as you can see, it found the DNS A record that we have created, our DDNS A record. Let's click on it and check it so that the integration will know that it, this is the one it should be updating. By the way, you can create several of them, but it's beside the point here. So make sure it's checked and click on submit. We'll get a success message, which is great. At this point, I have found that it works faster if you restart your Home Assistant. So this is exactly what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to completely restart the system. And what I want to do right now is to give a Home Assistant a few minutes and then I will go back to my Cloudflare account and I would want to see that the bogus IP address I've configured on the a DDNS A record is changed with my real IP address. I'm going to pause the recording and I'm going to give at least 10, 15 minutes. All right, so for me, at least, at least 10 hours went by. And now let's go back and log in to our Cloudflare account. And let's go back to our DNS section. And as you can see, our A record of DDNS now contains my real public IP address given to me by my ISP. This tells us that the entire chain, the API token, the integration, everything is working, otherwise this would not have happened. So kudos to you for making this work. By the way, the integration will update the IP address once every hour. So if you don't want to wait an hour after you've configured everything from the beginning, you can just go into, into Home Assistant, go into Services, and launch the Cloudflare Update Records. Click on Call Service, and this will manually update the DNS records right from the get-go. Otherwise, it will do it once every hour. All right, guys, so this was how to configure DDNS or Dynamic DNS using Cloudflare and Home Assistant. By the way, in the outro of this video, you will see a video I created not too long ago about how to use Cloudflare tunnels. So if you are, your entire point here is to, uh, is to be able to log in to internal resources on your network from the outside, you might as well try to configure Cloudflare tunnels. It's much safer, it's much more intelligent and it will be in the outro of this video. So if you're interested, click on that video and watch it. All right, guys, thank you very much. I hope to see you all in my next video. Bye-bye.